Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 1st through the 8th. This is whatever comes up, comes up in this reading. This is for the sign of Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know this first week of April? You know what I just heard is let go of insecurities and I don't know where that's coming from but it just popped into my head. Awareness. This is the magician card. This is manifestation, shedding the old, success, um, as above, so below. This means that you have the tools within you to be successful. All you have to do is take action. And you do take action, right? I mean, this is believing in yourself, using your inner wisdom, your inner guide to lead the way. And I think that you got, and this is divine guidance as well. So I think that this is probably part of the theme of the week is using your inner guide to lead the way to success. Patience, okay, patience pays off. This is um, your ships finally coming in. What you've worked so hard for, maybe receiving the reward of your hard work. This is uh, the Hermit card, a time of reflection. Emotional loss, this is the Five of Cups. This is the Three of Swords, heartache and loss. Grief. This is moving forward very quickly. This is the Chariot. This is the Star card. And here we have the Seven of Wands. So right off the bat, we have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas. So this is divinely guided changes that are going on in your life. Whatever is happening is divinely guided by the universe. This is universal, universally driven, okay, when you have the majority of majors, okay? Whatever is happening is being guided by the universe, all right? So in the past, I see that you guys have been manifesting working on yourselves, focusing on what you really want, coming up with plans for the future, and now you're taking action, or you have taken action. You guys have replaced fear with faith, and it's like you guys are in the lead, and you guys are taking the lead. You're using all the resources within you to prevail, you know? There's a lot of focus here, there's a lot of concentration, a lot of planning, and there's also a lot of victory and success because you never quit, right? This is the past, and the past has really influenced your future in a positive way. I mean, you are virtually unstoppable. You have all the resources within you to prevail, and you know it, okay? Not only are you uh, able to follow your inner guide very well, you come up with a plan and you follow through with the plan you take action there's no slack here you guys are action oriented to bring success to your life that's that's right here okay there is a success and um triumph because you guys are action oriented okay so here I see that you guys are believing in yourself. You're following your own path. You are following your inner guide. You're listening. But you may still have a feeling of disappointment in the areas of love. Okay? In regards to emotions, you may be disappointed emotionally. You may feel like you're not emotionally content. You may feel like you're lacking in the uh, love arena. Okay? You're still probably hurting over some sort of loss. And this is in the present. Past, present, future. Okay? So you guys are still healing over a loss. You haven't quite healed from it yet, right? 
Okay, there's some sort of emotional disappointment here and you may have some regrets or you may have been rejected. Okay, and so you know it takes a moment, a minute to heal. But you guys are healing. This is the star card. Whatever was lost, you were being protected because this is this is universal protection. This loss was for your highest good. There could have been a loss of a commitment, a loss of, you know, a marriage, I don't know. But there could there was some sort of loss that that was meant to happen because you were being protected, okay? So this is the star card which also represents wish fulfillment. So whatever has happened is is bringing you something better. Now is a time of healing. So right now you are still healing over this loss of commitment or loss of faith or loss of love, whatever it is. Right now you're still healing, you know. And you may be burying yourself in other stuff, you know, work, whatever, you know, just to cover that up. But whatever's happening here, you guys are going to be victorious. Okay, that is what's happening here. Here, your ships are finally coming in. Things are going to start happening in your favor. They are, because you don't lose faith. You don't give up. You are a go-getter, all right? Here, we have this heartache and loss right next to this. You guys are in the future. I don't feel like, you're still grieving. You're still grieving this loss. It's not, it doesn't end just like that, okay? You're still grieving, but whatever, this suffering that you're going through is bringing you true growth. It is bringing you true growth and wisdom. All right? So whatever's happening is is bringing you the growth and the healing that you need. You may not see it that way, but you are the victor in this scenario, okay? Because some the universe the universal protection people above whatever they are, they have orchestrated this unfortunate loss for your highest good okay this is what has happened here so I feel like you guys are being called to, to really stand your ground stand up for yourself fight for what you believe and don't give up don't give up you're still on top Capricorn you're still on top so what I see from this week is that you will prevail there's a lot of hope and healing going on. You guys are mastering your emotions. You're moving forward very, very quickly. You're not, you're not um, living in like this pity party scenario. You're not. It's not like you're sitting in bed crying over the loss. You're accepting the loss. Okay, I accept the loss. Yes, I'm hurting from the loss, but you are aren't um, letting it hold you back. Okay, so what I feel is that you are healing, you're healing the regrets, you're healing the guilt, you're healing the rejection, you're believing in yourself, you're replacing fear with faith, your ships are starting to come in, you should start to see things getting better very, very soon, I feel like your prayers are being answered and you may not even see it, you're manifesting uh, positive changes into your life along with universal help. The universe is helping you with these positive changes. I feel like the time of reflection that you have gone through recently has served you very well. It has allowed you come up to come up with a positive plan for the future. And I feel like you guys are the victor here. So I feel that you guys are still going through some sort of grieving process that isn't quite over yet. But it does lead to wish fulfillment because this is the wish fulfillment card. Okay? I'm going to get you guys one more card because I feel the need. What else does Capricorn need to hear? There is some sort of suffering. And I know you don't want to hear this, but I think you're, you're okay with it because you're so strong. That it is bringing you true growth. Okay? Now we got two of them, so I'm going to give you them both. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you are changing your energy, and this is exactly what's going on. Your energy is shifting, and you are manifesting something much better than what you just lost.
You are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. I told you there was universal guidance here. There is. That whatever has happened, it was for your protection. And this is the week where you, you heal even more and you realize that you're not alone. And you realize that this was, you were being protected. Talk to you later.